Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy 4 with me, Alpha Bio, Mega and France. So in the last episode we have laid the basics of our policies. Mostly we focused on getting rid of some of the negative effects like the corporate exodus and the uncompetitive economy. And we did our best to increase the GDP and I'm happy to say that our policies are now taking effect but we'll see how long it's gonna take before we are out of the dire straits we are in right now because the GDP is still not very high and you know truth be told our deficit is nearing 50 billion euros with a debt of 2.74 trillion euros this is mostly due to the fact that the world economy is tanking and even though we are increasing our relative GDP the entire world economy is going down so it's gonna take a while before this changes well it might change the next turn who knows this is always random and you just have to deal with it as it comes what's also happening is the fact that our cabinet is slowly losing faith in us and they this this is like some of the policies, I wanted to say that they disapprove of my actions, but yeah, they dislike some of the policies. So our political capital that we gain every turn is going down. But there is no other way than just to go with it. Now you can reshuffle your cabinet at any point, giving you extra, uh, extra political power or political capital because that comes from your ministers you can see that the only guy that actually likes us is giving us 1.6 while the others gives us 0.5 <laughs> uh, but that gives you a huge huge penalty to your popularity so I generally avoid it unless I absolutely have to do it so for now let's just end the turn and see what's gonna happen so the street gangs they are gone now our policies in the well, what is it called? Public? Law and order. Sorry, our policies in the law and order are taking a massive effect and we have eliminated this bad situation. Message from our minister. Charles Edouard Blanchard, currently working as your welfare minister, is tired of serving in your government and may wish to leave the position and possibly politics work together. You may be able to persuade them to stay by taking steps to further please their core supporters, capitalists and motorists. Yeah, we need clean fuel subsidies, as he suggests. We're gonna check them out, but generally, I we just need to push. We just need to push forward. So, safeguard oil supplies. Representatives from all companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. The government involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. Now, usually I would just go with send the troops because I agree with this. If they are invited um, and they are strategic, or, or of strategic interest to us, let's send them. But I cut the budget to the military massively, so I'm gonna try do not deploy troops because, frankly, we just can't afford it. Okay, so that increases the liberal and ethnic minority opinion, but lowers the patriotic and strong leader, and the oil supply takes a huge hit. Okay, that's... that's bad. I think oil supply is... no, that's oil demand. This is the oil price and it's based on oil supply. Okay, that one's gonna go down. That one's gonna go down. Anyway, for us the important thing is to continue with the policies and um, things that we have already started with. We need to push them forward. So, okay, corporate exodus is tanking. It's gonna take a bit more to take a full effect but the corporation tax is gonna eliminate it now once that is done I actually think I'm gonna increase uh, the tax a bit more five is a bit too low but we need to get rid of it as fast as possible so we are going to go I think with like 10 later on that might be fair it was ridiculous I think it was somewhere like 30 33 percent that's just way too much but five is too low but for now it's okay because we need to get rid of this one as fast as possible that's the biggest uh, contributor to GDP lowering that we have 
The uncompetitive economy, though, is not going away. Are there any more things that we can implement? We need to increase the productivity that comes from education and technology. And so anything else that we could do? Oh, diplomatic service. I forgot about that one. That one increases the foreign relations, and that's important for us as well. Uh, because remember, this increases the international trade and tourism, both contributing to the GDP of your country. So let's go with that. And yeah, why the hell not? Tourism ad campaign, again, good one. Economy. Oh, Young Entrepreneur Scheme is also a pretty good... Oh, this one, Robotic Research Grants. I like those as well. Uh, they increase the industrial automatization and technology. They're hated by the trade unionists and cost a bit. But on the other hand, they increase the technology and then helps. Okay, and I think we need to, yeah, we need to increase the tab tobacco tax to maximum. It's going to be expensive. But tobacco usage is very negatively influencing healthcare and contributes to the respiratory disease which we need to get rid of. Now I just hate this one due to its nature. I don't really have a problem with the effect on the economy but yeah it needs to go. Okay let's end the turn. Message from our minister. Okay another guy is at the end of his <laughs> Patience with us, and we had a plane crash. That's great. Another plane owned by the national carrier has crashed, killing all on board. Poor maintenance has been cited as the cause for the onboard system failure. The government blamed for low safety standards. Tourism is gonna tank. Actually, there is a policy called National Carrier, or do we have it? Oh, state airline. Here it is. We don't have that. In effect, I think that that should be com that that should only occur when you have a state airline, which we don't. But while I was looking for that, I found out that we haven't uh, yet taken the reforestation and keep the country tidy campaign. Those positively affect the environment, so it might be a good idea to do it. Okay, corporate exams will be gone within a few turns. Uncompetitive economy will... Yeah, we have a number of things that are yet to take effect. Technology grants, industrial automatization, and adult education subsidies. And the automatization is getting boosts from robotic research grants. So, yeah. Deficit at 36 billion. I'm not really doing good at lowering that. Mm. Debt to interest is now the biggest thing that we are paying. That's insane. Well, at least the relative GDP is increasing and we are putting income and expenses at a relatively same level. But Okay, let's increase the tobacco tax a bit. Okay, the junk food tax is maxed out. Alcohol tax is maxed out. Okay, you can see that it's giving us much less than it used to due to the fact that the alcohol consumption has just fallen. So if I, for example, increase the alcohol consumption and increase the tax, then I could get more from it. Yeah, everything is connected very well in the game. I like it. Charity tax relief. It's actually pretty good, but I don't know what charity influences. It should lower... Yeah, it... Lowers poverty, increases education and foreign relations. It's actually a pretty, pretty good policy. <laughs> but we'll get to it later on. Uh, let's go with the reforestation though. This one is not that expensive, and as you can see, it helps with the CO2 emissions, lowers unemployment, which is kind of interesting. You hire people to plant trees, obviously, and respiratory disease, which is something that I spoke about a couple of minutes ago, and helps the environment and the opinion of environmentalists. 
As a measure to combat CO2, tree planting is relatively uncontroversial. However, some campaigners suggest this is treating the symptoms, not the cause, and that CO2 should be reduced at source, not captured afterward. Well, they might be true, but having more trees is good. Okay, so, message from a minister. Wow. Okay, she wants cyberbullying awareness campaign. And we get a corporate manslaughter bill. A new bill is proposed that will allow a corporate entity to be prosecuted for manslaughter when they have been found guilty of negligence resulting in a loss of life. Oh, this is a controversial one. Pass the law. This law is necessary to deter companies from cutting corners when it comes to the safety of their employees and members of the public. Too many people die every year in industrial accidents, and often there are no lessons learned and no blame apportioned. This law will be a step forward to corporate responsibility. Or block it. This law is unenforceable. With large companies employing many subcontractors, the legal complexities involved in applying blame for accidents are considerable. This law may be well-intentioned, but in practice it will be an expensive waste of time that serves to line the pockets of laws whilst failing to achieve any real change in corporate behavior. I actually tend to agree with the second one because I work for a large corporation and I can't imagine... Yeah, let's go with block the law. Okay. So, how's corporate exodus? Yes, it's going away next turn. Oh, that's gonna be great. 14% GDP increase. Productivity, huh? Okay, we still have ways to go with the tobacco tax. So, let's increase it and see if we have enough. Yes, keep the country tidy campaign. A campaign in popular media designed to make people feel guilty about littering. No matter how much a fine on littering may be, this only works if people are being seen. But a guilty conscience will also work when someone is alone, thus making it far more effective in the long run. Yeah, I'm a great, great fan of shaming people, because shame is an important factor in human life. Okay, so I think we're done here. Okay, corporate exodus is gone. You can see a GDP got a massive boost. Yep, that is important. And unemployment is going now. Okay, people smuggling. A large number of people have been caught entering our country, hidden inside cargo containers in an organized attempt at people smuggling. The criminals who masterminded the scheme have been arrested, but there's debate as to whether those people who are now on our shores should be sent back to their country of origin. Allow them to stay. There is strong evidence that these people were desperate to flee persecution, poverty or even death in their own country. These are desperate people as we can see from the lengths they went to in order to get here. It would be inhumane to deport them now they are here. Letting these people stay would send out entirely the wrong signal to people who want to come here illegally. We have enough of a problem of illegal economic migrants as it is. Unfortunately, unfortunate though it may be, the only sensible choice is to send them back. I agree with the second option. I know this is really bad, but I am a big fan of allowing people to come legally, but punishing those that come illegally. So let's deport them. Yeah. I don't... This is too... too complicated to speak about in short sentences, but yeah, that's how I feel. Okay, we can further increase the tobacco tax. Okay, the productivity should be coming up very soon. Deficit is a 32 billion. We are slowly approaching the 2.9 million. Oh uh, no, 2.9 trillion in debt. Doctor strike is increasing. But hey, the respiratory disease is dropping. That's good. It's kind of interesting that uh, the reforestation boosts the environment and doubles as a direct effect on the respiratory disease. That's interesting. Okay, let's move on. Message from a minister. Okay, okay, one of our ministers resigned. Oh, we got a regional war. 
War has broken out in a neighboring country, causing tensions along the border with them. We are seeing an influx of refugees. Immigration has increased. Uh, we're still at a B level budget. So who was that? Yeah, welfare minister. So who can we hire? You want to do welfare. Well, wealth is high. Yeah, I'm gonna save the card for some something else. Let's hire you and see what we can do. Yeah, our popularity is taking a huge tank. And we're moving, yeah, we're moving to where I usually am. Okay, so this is this is starting to be really bad. Uh, but I guess it's the regional war, actually, that, that has been hitting me really hard. Uh, let's go away. Hmm. Let's get the cyberbullying campaign on. And I'd also like to take... What are you doing on violent crime? Okay, it's inc it's dropping, so there's no need to do much more. Youth Politics Council. Free parenting classes. And I'd like to get the compulsory language lessons. Those are good. They increase the international trade and education, but are kind of expensive to implement. So let's wait a bit. Oh, nice! Credit rating upgraded. Oh, this is something that I was waiting for. Finally, the major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of our government. This is great news. It may it should result in lower interest rates for our debt and also may result in a boost to GDP. Awesome. So how are we doing? Yes, look at that. That is massive. Our deficit has dropped wow well, by a half. Okay. That's good. Our relative GDP is increasing, but the global economy is still tanking. If it kept level, we would be having a massive surplus by now. So how's the productivity? Is it increasing? Yeah, it's increasing. So we're doing good. Popularity, not great, but... Eh, we could be doing okay. What could we do here? I think a tobacco awareness campaign would be a good thing here. And increasing the tax as well. Okay, that pretty much killed killed our situation uh, or our political power that we can do right now. What's the property tax? Okay, I could lower it a bit. That would help with the hate, the welfare feel for me. Well, property tax 66%, that's insane. Okay, let's think into that. Unemployment slightly increasing. Hey, we get technological advantage. Awesome. It looks like our country is leading the world in a number of major areas of science and technology. This is great news for our economies. It means we have a major advantage over our competitors. So this is a slight boost to GDP, but mostly to productivity, as you can see. And that should further help. Yeah. The uncompetitive economy might be going away soon. Streamer offers birthday song. A popular internet streamer is offering to sing for you on your birthday in public. She is known for her tiny dresses and adult themed songs, making her very popular among young people. So accept the offer. This is a great honor or decline the offer. She may be famous and successful, but queer and a role model for our youth. Let's keep the celebration small and decent and focus on the important political issues. Now let's go with that. Parents and conservatives like it, youth don't. Okay, that's the payroll tax. Uh, where is the... That's the tobacco tax. Here's the property tax. Okay, but I'm gonna lower it in some insane manner, but let's drop it to... 
Wow, 50 is still insane. It's also very great to affecting the generation no wealth gap, which is a negative situation that can occur, or I think it can cause something that is. What kind of taxes do we have here? Other than this, corporation tax. Oh yeah, we can increase the corporation tax now. Let's increase it to 10. And... Capital gains tax. Inheritance tax. This one is also extremely high. Charity tax relief. Hybrid cost initiative. Thinking about about lowering the um, and let's just let's just lower the the property tax. Which one was that again? Not this one. I guess mortgage tax relief. Oh wow, that one would be actually really good. How much would that cost? Two. So let's do that next time. We're gonna drop the property tax and give a bit more tax relief to people who have mortgage. Okay, GDP is just moving up now. Another minister has resigned. But we got a disputed territory repatriated. So that's good. 20% bonus to patriotic uh, patriotic loyalty. Okay, and our capital is only 11 due to the foreign policy minister resigning. Let's get, let's get Melanie up on the job. And I think right now we can go with the property tax and cut it down. Yeah, let's get it to 47%. Oh, I agree with that. Hey, look! Deficit is only 11.71 billion now. That's good. Yeah. Relative GDP is increasing. Oh, look at that economy! <laughs> That's insane! And I wanted to provide the mortgage tax relief as well. Oh, wow! That one will be more expensive than I expected it to be. Okay, let's end the turn. Nice, we got private space industry. Although historically big space projects have been undertaken by governments, advances in technology mean that there is now a huge potential market for the commercialization of space exploration and space travel, including private satellites, space tourism, even asteroid mining. I like that. So that's good. And we get delivery drones. An international retailer wants to introduce delivery of shipments by autonomous cargo quadruceptors. The general public is excited by this prospect, but trade unions are highly critical, predicting job losses and accidents. The retailer requested permission to start a pilot project, and current legislation legislature does not cover commercial drones. Allow them, disallow them, allow limited trials. Let's not run into this. Maybe it's best to just allow some limited trials for a year or two. Let's allow it. I think that's... Yeah, capitalists like it. Technology is getting a boost. Traffic congestion is lowered, but trade unionists are not very happy. Deficit 7.74 billion. Nice. Okay. And the global economy drop is slowly starting to... Uh, to bottom, so we should be okay. Come on. You need to... Uh, just a bit more. Just a bit more. Okay, let's look at the mortgage tax relief. Wait, that's the property tax. I'm at the wrong this one. Damn, this is expensive as hell. 11 political capital increase mortgage tax relief. That's insane. 
Uh, next time, in the next turn, I'd like to go with the compulsory language classes, but is there anything? Hey, let's get the cycling campaign. I like that. It increases health and lowers car usage, rail usage, and bus usage, so in general, it's very useful. And... Hmm... Free parenting classes... We're actually kind of okay here. Let's also get the telecommuting initiative. That helps because the mem members in the commuters drop and car usage drops and the commuters actually are people that don't exactly like me. But this will lower their amount and increase their opinion of me. Plus parents like it, trade unions. So that's good. Okay, GDP is maxing out. Hey, we got another credit rating upgrade. Awesome. The major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of our government. And, oh, religious plot. Okay, but the angels of heaven just, they're actually, they hate me, but not that bad. And uh, the global economy is still in recession. Okay, but I think that we might see... Yes, we are seeing a surplus. That is awesome. So now you actually have a bit more place to play with things. Okay, how are these things? Okay, Doctor Strike is really bad. Hospital overcrowding is really bad. And respiratory disease is really bad. I could fix all of this if I just went and maxed out the state health service, which I am going to once we have a bit more money to play with. But, you know, we need the economy to go up. Debt is just over a trillion, but we have it now under control. Let's go with health food subsidies that's gonna drop the food price and thus fight the poverty and hmm I kind of like the social care I'd like to implement it but that is very expensive let's I like the stamp out racism week and I also think that we already have a lot of liberals. Yeah, so... That could help. Congestion charging. Let's go with carpooling campaign and... I like the Young Entrepreneur Scheme, that one is also also very good and very cheap. It increases the opinion of capitalists and youth and lowers and socialism. The scheme is to help and support young people who are aiming to become businessmen in the future by giving them opportunities to learn from veterans and detailed information about what to do and who to ask. This will increase happiness among capitalists as they see their future secure. Uh, I think we have campaign speeches available, okay, and we will probably be able to go with the manifesto. Perception, okay, we're seen as compassionate but not as a very strong leader and not as a very trustworthy person. I don't really deal with those much at this point, so let's just... I'll just ignore it. But we can do some campaign pledges. GDP increasing, health increasing, things are looking very good. Oh, but we had a minister resign. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Not a very good time for that. A tax minister. Okay, loyalty. And campaigning. Okay, let's hire him. He's gonna help. And okay, we're back at the deficit. That's probably yeah. The global economy GDP is maxing out, but the global economy is just just gone. Okay, uncompetitive economy, very close to being eliminated. 
Um, anything I could do? Hmm. I don't think so. I think we're actually doing pretty okay. It's gonna be a very close call. Speeches. Hmm. I don't think we should deal with that at this point. Let's instead look at what we can do. School vouchers. Jesus Christ, I can go all the way to 21 billion. That's insane. Uh, I like the youth co-op subsidies. Those aren't very cheap and they help. Parents like it, socialists like it, youth like it, and crime is lowered. So let's get that. And... Hmm... We can't do anything in the foreign policy. Yeah, I want to do the social care once we'll have a bit more money. That's on my... An enterprise investment scheme would be good, but I think the GDP is actually... It's gonna max out, so there's not much we can do with it. Public services, healthy eating campaign... How's our health doing? Okay, we have a healthy population, that's good. Youth Politics Council, let's let's do that one. Are we having a lot of... yeah, youth like us. Why do environmentalists have this complacency? Wow, wow! Well, that's the effect of the increase of GDP. You just can't have all. Oh hell. Well. Can we still have the speeches? I haven't... Oh, scientific breakthrough. Cool. Yeah, we don't have enough fundraising. Wow, another crating, another credit rate, rating upgraded. That's insane. What's A? Oh, okay. And we have a busy problem. Damn, I was afraid of that. Okay. Uh, campaign speeches. Okay, we have the manifesto. I like those. But... Hmm. Cut income tax by 25%. This will help people vote for you. I think we can go with... The security of education. I'd like to make that pledge. And I already wanted to increase the mortgage tax relief. And... Wow, you can cut the executive term length by 25%. Okay, let's do that. Okay, cool. So we made some some pledges. Oh, hey, our popularity is... Hey, and we got a 3 billion surplus now. That's awesome. That is awesome. You're gonna go away. GDP is almost maxed out, so we're gonna have some money to play around with. How is the world economy? Okay, it's, it's starting to, to go up. I guess I guess we are okay now. So I just like to get re-elected and in the next episode we're finally going to start investing into people, but obesity. Health food subsidies, yeah, they need to kick in, so they, they might actually kill that. And do we have any free parenting healthy eating campaign? Yeah, that would lower the obesity. So let's get that implemented and okay, compulsory sports. That would oh, holy hell! 
Young people really don't like that. Okay, let's let's cancel that. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, and we have the votes. So let's hope that we have done well enough to be re-elected. The National Technocratic Party is competing with the Social Justice Party and the Labour League. So let's go. Oh wow, that's very close. But we will win. Yeah. Okay, so we have been re-elected. Begin next term. And we can reshuffle the cabinet, which I think I will. You two need to go. We're gonna hire new and better people. <laughs> new and improved. Yeah, let's hire you and transport guy. He wants to be a transport minister. If you give them the... The, the reason why I'm searching for this is I think it increases their loyalty and experience gain more if you hire those that want to be... Yeah, look at that. At that spot so it's a good idea to do it okay so poverty is dropping oh we got a new thing to take care of internet crime and our budget surplus is now five billion yeah the economy is starting to to go up so we will be fine okay so that's all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one where we are going to uh, enter the second term and finally start making our people a bit more happy because right now we have did in the first five years what had to be done and now when we have it under control we are going to carefully work with the surplus to lower the debt uh, which will lower the expenses you can see that we are still paying 16 billion that's insane 16 billion every quarter for the debt interest but as we lower the debt, we can start investing more. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time with more, di uh, I wanted to say diplomacy for, democracy for, and me, Alpha Pi Omega.